Sorry for deceiving you, but this is not a fun romp through the past. If you want an actual book review, I made one last year, but this is a trap. I've been tired of D&D for a long time, and when this open D&D business started, I didn't even care because I was so disinterested in the business side of things that I haven't even reviewed the last couple of books that Wizards put out. In my mind, Wizards is, and always has been, an amoral company owned by Hasbro, which is itself a soulless mega corporation. I wanted my life to revolve around D&D. I do not throw my lot in with greedy businesses. With that said, Wizards of the Coast has been on a quality decline for years, but I didn't even believe all the hype around them destroying the OGL because that would be the biggest act of brand suicide possible. I thought that at the very least Hasbro would understand the concept of immediate growth versus opportunity cost. Considering that these events echo the creation of 4E and then subsequent backlash and creation of Pathfinder, their biggest competitor, I was certain that the hype was impossible and that everyone was just in a Twitter feedback loop. I was wrong. Fuck, dude. D&D's over! Glad we pirated anyway. I honestly don't have much to say that plenty of people won't have already said in videos way better than mine, except that it was fun while it lasted. I'm prioritizing whatever the hell I want now. My next video is gonna be about some LARP that I went to, and it's half an hour long. If you wanna watch it, cool! If not, I'm doing other stuff too. But while I was totally fine about making the occasional D&D video in the past, even though it benefits Hasbro, I really have no interest in making 5e content anymore, for obvious reasons. My new series, How It Feels to Play, is saying up. D&D doesn't own the rights to fantasy class names, and if you play Pathfinder, you can enjoy them just as much as anyone. I'm having so much fun with them that even if Hasbro didn't take its brand, I would still be making them so that any random person could just enjoy it without reading massive tomes of 5e. But yeah, all this to say that Wizards of the Coast is making a huge mistake! If they focused on quality control over brand recognition, they wouldn't have needed to pull the rug out from under every third-party company that was embarrassingly better than them. Fuck! The best official book in five years that they made was Tales from the Radiant Citadel, and that was just them hiring a dozen third-party writers to make stories better than they could. You know what? There, that's your book review. Tales of the Radiant Citadel gets a 5 out of 10 because it's better than half of every Wizards release. I want to take the last minute of this video to shout out every other TTRPG that I've played and enjoy. Pathfinder, obviously. It's the easiest one to jump into if you like D&D. 4 out of 10. Star Wars Saga Edition. It plays like old school D&D, but with the entire Star Wars Legends era. Yes, it's still Wizards of the Coast, but come on. You know how to fix that. 4 out of 10. City of Mist. Very rules light and more focused on solving mysteries than being an action adventure. 4 out of 10. Alice is Missing. This isn't a TTRPG, it's just a one and done RPG, but nobody talks about it and that is bad. Content warning, there's a lot of depressing stuff there, but it hurts so good. 4 out of 10. Kids on Bikes. It's like Call of Cthulhu if you want something more accessible and less depressible. 4 out of 10. Thirsty Sword Lesbians. 4 out of 10. Dungeons and Dragons! Seriously, just play the game and don't support Hasbro by buying your stuff. It's not like the previous books you've bought spontaneously combusted and you sitting at a table with your friends isn't hurting anyone. I still love the game, and I intend to play it until I die in a car accident, and no one can blame you for harmlessly enjoying your free time off. 4 out of 10. Beyond that, there's just a whole world of tabletop games and board games that can fix whatever itch needs scratching, and I really hope that when you find it, it doesn't attempt to destroy an entire industry in a megalomaniacal tantrum. But yeah, Davy out.